Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today, we are back at it again with Fashion Friday. I am so, so excited to be continuing this series with you guys. I hope you're enjoying it thus far. In today's video, we are going to be styling some of my favorite neutral pieces, pieces that I feel like everyone should have, but how to elevate them a little bit. Um, we're kind of going for a little bit like street style vibes for some of them, model off duty vibes for others. Some are a little more casual, cute cozy some are a little bit more formal I feel like there are so many different ways that you can style the outfits that I'm gonna be sharing with you today so I'm so excited I feel like there's something for everyone and I really hope you guys enjoy today's video so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it so today I'm just gonna be walking you through my favorite neutral pieces and how I style them I'm gonna be doing a couple of the outfits a few different ways so you can switch out some pieces to work with what you have in your wardrobe or if you're looking to build a capsule wardrobe this is the video for you so first we're gonna go ahead and start with the outfit that I currently have on this is a super like model off duty I feel like kind of street style look really laid back but also elevated at the same time for the main tank I have on this top it's from my boutique 410 I absolutely love this top I feel like it's so relaxed yet super like elevated at the same time it's really just a plain ribbed tank but i love the corset detailing that it has on it i feel like it really adds a lot to any outfit and i just love the fit of this one i also love how it kind of like slopes down in towards your belly button that sort of shape is really really flattering on the belly area and the hips and all of that so huge fan of this i initially had tried to pair it with a shorter more bra like top and i just felt like this one really went with the vibe so much more so i then have it paired with this little blazer it's a little like gingham blazer this is from princess polly i absolutely love this it's very oversized on me but obviously oversized is very in. You can wear it a bunch of different ways. You could probably even get away with belting it and wearing it as a little dress. Um, but I just have it kind of pulled off one shoulder to kind of create some sort of separation, especially because I'm super short, four foot 10 for those of you that don't know. And so wearing a bunch of oversized stuff tends to eat me alive. But doing this, pulling it off the shoulder a little bit, showing a little bit of belly creates a little bit of separation that I feel like really helps pull the whole look together on me. I then have them paired with these trousers that I actually thrifted, but these types of pant are very, very in right now. You can find them basically on every website, I feel like. I feel like they're a must. Whether you're into the low rise look or the high waisted, I'm kind of like in the middle. I feel like these are a little bit high waisted, but sit a little bit lower. So I feel like they kind of give off the low waisted vibe with the way that the shirt cuts in. I'm a huge fan of it. I also have it paired with my favorite booties ever. These are from Sam Edelman and they are discontinued so I'm so bummed about it. But you can find them on Poshmark here and there so definitely check them out. They're the Lizzo boot. I can't recommend them enough. I like literally just said to my mom, I'm gonna end up buying multiple pairs before I can't find them anymore because they're my favorite boot ever. I basically wear them every day with every outfit. You'll see them a lot throughout this video. I also think it would be super cute to throw on a little hat to kind of make this a little bit more street style. So again, throwing on the hat just creates a little bit more of like a sporty, chic kind of vibe, which I really, really love and I think is so cute and really in right now. Next, we're going to move on to a super basic outfit that I know all of you can make in your closet. And if you can't, I'm shocked. It's an all black kind of moment here. We, for the top, I just have this little tank. These tanks are my absolute favorite. They're from TJ Maxx. And every time I see them, I buy more of them. They have built-in padding, which I love because I am going through the phase where I've went too long without wearing a bra that I feel like I can't wear one anymore or else I'm going to actually hurt someone. <laughs> and so I love these. I also feel like they're just really flattering. So we love this. Have the little black tank paired with some black ripped jeans. I cuffed them at the bottom to create a little bit more of like a shorter look and also just kind of tie it in. We're really going off of this Hailey Bieber vibe. I was very inspired by this look on her, but it is just super basic and I feel like everyone can achieve it. 
Then I have it paired with my leather trench. I absolutely love, love, love this trench. It is also from TJ Maxx, but again, very in right now. I feel like you can find them most places, but TJ Maxx is a great place to start because they have really great deals and it's fantastic quality. I then pair them with these little patent leather booties. I love a good kitten heel. I'm very short, so I feel like I need a heel or else I end up looking like I'm 12 years old, but I also have like bunions and I'm basically giant mesh. So wearing a huge heel all day long is just not realistic for me. I tried for the longest time and I was just constantly in pain. So, so glad kitten heels are in and I hope that they're here to stay. But I love the pointed toe on these. I am typically a square toe girl, but I do love that these like really elongate your leg with the little kitten heel and the pointed toe. In the summer, I would probably go for more of what Haley is going for and do it with a little like sandal heel or just like regular heel. I think this would be really cute. Also, it'd be great to tie some color in. If you wanted to do a pop of color, you could do that easily by tying it in with your heel and your bag. I don't have a lot of my colored pieces here with me right now, but next week's Fashion Friday episode is going to be all about color and pattern and styling it for dopamine dressing this year. So if you're into color or want to get into color and all of that, stay tuned for next week's episode. But you also could just elevate it with a little like evening bag. I love this little rhinestone one from DSW. They have a bunch of really cute ones on Amazon as well. I will link a couple options for you guys. Or you could just stay super basic, continue the all black moment with this little bag. This is from 410, we're currently sold out, but I definitely um, hope to restock these when we relaunch. So keep an eye out for these. I love this bag. I basically use it every day. The next look is more if you're into a little bit of pattern or want to do like a super kind of like oversized, but really effortless look again, kind of street style, but you can really dress this up or dress this down. So I will show you both ways how to do that. For the first look, we are going to dress it down. So I just have this big oversized jacket. It is by Lucky Brand, but it's from TJ Maxx. I actually stole this from my mom, so shout out mom. Love this. It's a size large. She bought it oversized and I was like, wait, that would be so cute to wear as like a big shirt dress. So that's what I did. I actually wore this for like Thanksgiving, but like I said, I'll show you how I dress it up for that, but also how I can dress it down for streetwear. So I threw under this little black hoodie and I feel like it just like immediately makes it so like comfy, chic, like casual, but again, so elevated. I have them paired with this over the knee boot. I love these so much for wearing with like big oversized tops as little dresses i feel like these really elevate the look but the hoodie really like makes it more casual and i'm just a huge fan of this look i feel like it reminds me of ariana grande i don't know if you're looking to dress this look up instead you could go ahead and throw a little turtleneck underneath and this is how i wore it for thanksgiving i thought it was really cute you could either do a black or a cream or white turtleneck depending on what colors you have in your jacket so with this one i could kind of do whichever I felt in the moment. When I wore it for Thanksgiving, I ended up going with a cream so I could tie the boot together and the lighter colors within the jacket. Definitely a huge fan of this look and so effortless. The next look we're going on to are two of my favorite items at the moment. The first are these cream leather pants. I am obsessed with these. Again, they are from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think it might've been Marshalls. I cannot stress enough how important I think it is to have a pair of faux leather pants in like every color possible. I swear they are such a staple in my wardrobe and can help elevate seriously any outfit. Huge, huge fan. So we're styling this like a little bit more elevated, a little bit more fancy, chic, but again, as always, super easy to dress it down as well. I just picked up this top from H&M. I ordered it online and I didn't realize that the entire back of it was open. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. And I don't know if I love how it looks from the back, but I love how it makes it look from the front. So again, we have this kind of sloped detailing that I mentioned that is just so super flattering on the belly area. And the cinching in the back just like makes it fit so nicely. I'm obsessed with the fit of this. I feel like it's really hard to find a really flattering kind of like 
collared shirt, but this is it. This is the one. Again, I have them paired with my little Sam Edelman booties, as well as my little Target clutch bag. I love the all neutral aesthetic. So me, so my vibe. This is kind of a monochrome moment, but we're breaking it up a little with the white. If you're like not all for like all beiges, I totally get it. It can be a little intimidating at first for sure, but I feel like this look is just so stinking cute and so simple as well. The next look we're going to move on to is honestly one of my go-to and favorites right now. I feel like every time I get dressed up to go literally anywhere, whether it's shopping, um, I guess that's really the only place I've been recently, but every time I go shopping, like every weekend with my mom when I do, I feel like I wear this outfit because it's just so good. So obviously, I'm sure you guys know cargo pants are so in right now and I am so, so here for it. I came across these at Marshalls and they are so good. I feel like they're so flattering. They're so effortless. I just love the vibe of them. They're by the brand Seven for All Mankind and I absolutely love them. I tried to find them online and I couldn't, but I will definitely find some similar pairs and link them for you guys. There's a couple ways you could go about styling this. So again, I'm gonna show you guys. The first option is one of these super cute little like corsetti ruched tops. I love this look. I feel like they just pair so well together. It takes a super, I feel like masculine bottom with a really feminine top and just like is so cute. I just love the whole look. Of course, you know, I'm pairing them with my Sam Edelman booties. I'm taking my Target little clutch and my black leather trench and I'm so obsessed with this vibe. I feel like putting on the black trench makes it very street style, which I love but keeping the lighter accessories i feel like lightens it up and makes it a little bit feminine as well but just really keeps all the earthy tones and i am so here for it if you don't have a black trench coat and you do have a more neutral like brown toned long coat i think that would work really well as well for this outfit and keep a little bit more light a little bit more like neutrally earthy even though i just said the other one was earthy too it's a little bit more earthy <laughs> So I think that would be a really cute option as well. The next outfit, we're going to keep the pant, but we are going to change the tops, but keep it a similar vibe. So we're gonna take another one of these little corsetti ruched tops. Um, both of these tops, I forgot to mention, are from my boutique 410. I'm a huge fan of both of them. They're kind of my go-to tops whenever I need like a cute little top to go under anything. So we have this one again, the way that it cuts in on the waist is so flattering. And then I have this little blazer. It is from Anne Klein, but I got this at Marshalls. I think this look is super, super cute and a little bit lighter and more airy for maybe like the spring, summertime. Also going to hang on to the Target bag and the Sam Edelman booties as well. I just really, really love this look. And again, I feel like this is just going to be one of my go-to outfits for whenever I need a cute outfit and don't want to think about putting one together. This is it. This is it. The next outfit, um, I have to thank Evan for. Evan's my boyfriend, if you don't know, if you're new here. Um, he ordered this vintage Yukon Huskies hat, and it's so stinking cute, so I was like, I think I'm gonna need to try and style it. So, we did just that, and I'm kind of obsessed. So, it just so happened that I had thrifted a, I feel like it doesn't look as like it matches as well on camera, but like in person it's like identical. I think it's just weird lighting at the moment, but this is like brownish with black brim and this is brown with little black pinstripe. So I'm obsessed, it's literally perfect. So underneath the blazer, I have on this little cropped tee. You could also do this with like the same tank that I showed you earlier as well. But I love, love, love these t-shirts. I seriously order them every time I order from Windsor. They are a little like double lined tee. So you don't have to wear a bra. Um, it's great. I even have them in white. You don't need to wear one for white either. They're so good. Can't say enough good things. Then we have the blazer, of course. I thrifted this, and um, but it's from BCBG. Love that. And then I have them with my trusty 410 leather pants. I'm obsessed with these. Again, you need a good leather pants in every color. I swear. Oh, how could I forget? Obviously the 410 bag as well. 
I feel like I don't really have the right shoes to go with this look, but you could throw them on with a little black booty. I just feel like the ones that I have aren't right for this look for whatever reason. Or you could do it with the little Sam Edelman booty if you have a brown boot that matches the blazer. I feel like that would be perfect, but I feel like I just don't have the right thing, but I'll be on the lookout for sure. The next little number I have is this jumpsuit. And again, we're from TJ Maxx. They have such good things. You just need to look. It's, I mean, it's hit or miss, but like if you find the good locations, it's like game over. I thought this was so cute. Little jumpsuit. It has a little bit of a brown tannish stitching on it, which I thought we could really play off of and tie in a maybe like brown tannish jacket, which again, I'm telling you, I went thrifting one day and got so many jackets, blazers, I like hit the jackpot, including with this one. So this is like the exact color stitching that's in the jumpsuit, which I love. So this is a little bit more of an elevated look. I feel like you could wear this to like, I don't know, a meeting by the beach. <laughs> You guessed it right, we're pairing it with the TJ Maxx bag and Sam Edelman booties, I swear. This is what I mean, if you just get a couple good pieces, you can reuse them with like every outfit and every outfit is going to look different. We also could make this a little bit more street style, um, a little bit more of a dark edgy kind of vibe by taking the jumpsuit with our black trench coat, our little black 410 bag, and our little black patent leather booties. I feel like this is perfect for like a night out with the gals, going to a little bar or a fancier dinner somewhere, but it's super like, super easy. You literally have two items of clothing on, but it looks like you spent way more time planning out your outfit. That's always the goal. The next couple of outfits we are going to be working with are going to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more lounge wear -y, but also elevating them so you can go out, run some errands, and still look like, super cute, put together. I feel like if you guys are around my age, I feel like it's like a weird time where like, yeah, you're like kind of still a kid, but like at the same time, you're like literally not, and you need to kind of start like dressing like it, I feel like, or at least I want to start dressing like it, because especially being so short, I feel like people end up thinking I'm a lot younger than I am, so I'm like, I need to like dress a little bit more professional, you know? I want people to take me seriously, even if it's just me going to get my mail at the P.O. box, you know? So, this first outfit we have, I feel like does that, but is still cozy and it's like, okay, I kind of just like got out of bed and I don't feel like getting dressed today. So I have this cute little lounge set that is from Lounge. If you guys have not checked out Lounge, they're some of my absolute favorite lounge wear pieces. They have the cutest underwear, loungewear, pajamas, like you name it, they have it. And it's also the best quality. I am like so for investing in good pieces that are gonna last me forever and theirs do. So 10 out of 10 recommend. So I have this cute little set from Lounge and it's a little bit kind of like a creamy but almost like a pinky toned cream, which I actually screamed when I saw that this jacket that I have also has the same like undertone underneath the little plaid vibe. So I have these paired together. I think it's so sinking cute. It's like I said, very like relaxed, like, okay, I'm just running to get my mail, but like I threw on a cute little like collared jacket to go with it and it's cute. And I look more like an adult a little bit, you know, versus just like having the loungewear set on. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe unnecessary, but I'm enjoying myself, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Again, I feel like I don't have the right shoe for this outfit, so I will be on the lookout. But I have them paired with these cute little like faux Ugg boots. These are from H&M. Such a fan of them. Um, they're so cozy, and I want to wear them with basically every outfit, but they're fleecy on the outside and the inside, so they're super plush. Just so cute. The last base outfit we're going to be styling is super simple, but I feel like is a game changer. A matching like workout or legging set with like a matching either like crop top or bra top, sports bra, whatever it may be. Game changer. 
Okay. Of course, it's this little neutral number, a little light beige creamy color. I'm obsessed with it. From H&M, I definitely kind of recommend sizing up in the top. I feel like that's kind of like a common for like sports bras, or at least for me anyway. I just feel like it gets really, really tight around the rib cage, and then I feel like I get heartburn. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna return. This actually came with makeup all along the neckline. So that was super cute and fun for me to open and see. Um, but I think I might try and like exchange for a bigger size anyway. The first outfit, we could do it really simple, um, but I feel like really, really cute. And again, kind of similar to the last vibe, throw on a little blazer with it. I have this big blazer that I thrifted, again, same day as all the other ones. Like I really hit the jackpot. I got really, really lucky. I think this is so cute. I love how it's oversized. And again, I'm matching kind of like the creamyish color that's in the jacket to the set. I just got really lucky with that, I guess but um, really cute together. Again, I have it paired with a Target bag and I threw on these little faux Ugg boots again as well. I feel like a key to this outfit is the Nike socks. The Nikes, or even if you just get like tall white socks and like they pop over either like the little boot that you're wearing or the sneaker or whatever it may be, I definitely want like a good pair of sneakers to go with a lot of these outfits because I feel like it would just, you know, be a really good option for dressing them down as well but um the nike socks or just the white socks i feel like are a must and they just really add a lot to the outfit i'm here for it another super easy option i wasn't gonna do literally any color in this video so you might see this option again in next week's video but i just love this little oversized tee it says self-care club i love just like the blue in it the beiges creams whatever you want to call it are a little bit off we're just going to do a tonal look versus monochrome if you know what i mean so we're just going to do different tones of like cream beige whitish and i still feel like it's really stinking cute if you're into more color you could always throw on like a little hat um that has the blue in it a little blue bag whatever but like i said we're not going to get super into color right now check out next week's video for that which I'm pumped for. The next option, if it's cold where you are, which it sure is uh, where I am. So typically I'm gonna go for a look like this most of the days. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and take a little crew neck. I'm doing a cream crew neck. It's kind of like whitish, creamish. Any light colored crew neck I feel like works really well for this. And I'm tucking it under into the bra top to kind of create a little bit of separation. Obviously, you don't have to do this if you don't want to show any of your stomach. Again, we have the little Nike socks popping over the little faux Uggs. Have the little Target bag. And this is super cute. But if you do need another layer, I think a puffer with this would be so cute. So I'm matching it again with my beige puffer. This one's a little bit longer. I know cropped puffers are really in right now, but where I am, it's so dang cold. I want every piece of my body to be covered when I go outside. <laughs> so I tend to go for a longer jacket. And I think this is really cute. You kind of look like an Eskimo and it's really cute. You know, you're just like all bundled up, but you have that monochrome look going on and it's, it's really working. It's really working. So that is going to be it for today's fashion Friday video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me to let me know that you did enjoy it. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite outfit is out of all of these, or if you have any other ideas for how I should style these items. Also, I would love to hear where you guys would like me to shop for future fashion Friday videos. I try to put an order in at least once a week to try and get some new items so I can style for you guys and put together new outfits and all of that kind of stuff. So comment down below. Let me know if there's any specific styles or themes you want me to go for or specific stores you'd like me to shop at. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. And I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.